Hello. We will be unboxing the Oracle of the Radiant Sun by Caroline Smith and John Astrop. Published by Red Feather. Oracle of the Radiant Sun Astrology Cards to Illuminate Your Life by Caroline Smith and John Astrop. So this is how the front of the box looks like. Let the radiant sun guide your life. The powerful orb of the life-giving sun has been worshipped from time immemorial. Its regular passage across the sky was used by the ancients to predict events, and this became the astrology we know today. Now with this beautifully illustrated deck, you too can follow the sun's path across the heavens and use its light to help guide your life. The oracle has seven suits. Each represents a significant planet as it moves through the astrological zodiac. By shuffling the deck and selecting cards, you will find guidance on any question. This fun to you system will shed light on all of your life issues. This box contains 84 stunning and symbolic cards, a 144 page illustrated guidebook, accurate and perceptive readings. Printed in China, published by Red Feather. Okay, so it has this yellow, bright yellow ribbon on the side. And this is how the box opens. Oops, so it's I love the color, it's very yellow. It matches my <laughs> tablecloth <laughs> with the happy sun face in it. So the guidebook, here's the guidebook and it It has the same image or design. Hmm. The guidebook is pretty thick and is in color but it is mostly yellows so we will take a look at this book later i'll show you the cards first so these are the cards they are divided into two parts and they were put in adjacent trays plastic trays 
so I don't know which one okay I think this is the first half Packaging, the packaging is similar with um, the Good Karma Tarot, but I, I'm not sure if they're from the same publisher. So let's take a look at the cards. They are uh, they are inserted in a plastic plastic ribbon okay so this has this deck has a total of 84 stunning and symbolic cards So, I believe this is a pretty sturdy box. Okay. Okay. Oops, what's this? So, oh. it's just this. There's something there, like a sticker to to hold this ribbon. So here are the cards. Wow. So it has a number and a keyword with the planetary symbol, I guess, and the astrological symbol on the right. Comparing to a, so let me just compare the card size to a standard Llewellyn card. So this is my Gilded Tarot Royal by Chiro Marchetti. And I will show you the size comparison. So it's a lot. It's, this card is thinner and shorter compared to the Gilded Tarot Royal. Now with the let's proceed with the flip through. Assertion. I believe this is Aries. Hey, I forgot to show you the backs. So these are the backs. They have a very bright yellow color. A golden yellow. Actually, it's a golden yellow color. With the face of the sun. And uh, the back of the cards matches the sun the design here on the front of the box and also matches the the image here in the guidebook assertion card number one assertion acquisition versatility Gemini this is Sun Sun in Gemini card number four is resourcefulness Sun in cancer number five is fortune Sun in Leo health Sun in Libra, Harmony.
sun in Sagittarius sun in Capricorn achievement sun in Aquarius idealism sun in Pisces vision now we're entering the moon cards okay so i don't know if there is a color coding on both on each okay so the sun cards they are colored in yellow while the moon cards they are all colored in color coded in purple so it starts with card number one moon in aries moon in taurus exaltation adaptability friendship appreciation moon in virgo is order moon in libra is companionship moon in scorpio is power moon in sagittarius is optimism moon in capricorn is practicality moon in aquarius is independence it looks like an egyptian figure it has also the aquarius symbol here and the moon symbol moon in pisces is empathy and now we enter i don't know which planet is <laughs> i'm not sure which planet is this so i'll just read the keywords for you restlessness aries resistance taurus excitement libra i gemini sorry this is gemini and intuition pisces drama leo caution virgo influence libra extremism scorpio discovery organization originality inspiration and then we move to another set which is i believe this is venus i believe this is venus and it is color coded in teal so card number one is lust uh, Venus in Aries lost Venus in Taurus is romance Venus in Gemini is flattery Venus in Cancer is birth Venus in Leo is affair I'm loving the colors on this deck Venus in virgo is discrimination venus in scorpio is secrets flirtation convention detachment submission impulsiveness oh so this is uh, not sure what this planet symbol is but it is color coded in pink one two three four five six seven eight nine ten
Oh, I believe this is Mars. No, if decision, quarrel, Leo egotism. Criticism, choice, Scorpio revenge, Sagittarius domination, Capricorn authority, Aquarius is rebellion, Pisces escape, it looks like the chariot to me. And now we're entering another set which is color coded in light blue. Again starts with Aries, Enterprise, Status, Bluff, Cancer, Speculation. Publis publicity for Leo, Patience, Virgo, Libra, Negotiation, um, Scorpio, Manipulation, Sagittarius, Principle, Capricorn, Control, Aquarius, Innovation, Spicy seduction and oh so there is <clears throat> the next group is color coded in gray risk for Aries Ostentation, Taurus. Concentration, Gemini. Charity. Generosity. Isolation. Devotion. Inheritance. Fulfillment. Riches. Eccentricity. Loss. And indecision. Oh, okay. Now we we will be looking at the guidebook. So we have here introduction, understanding symbols, the language of astrology, seven planets, astrological houses, and the 12 signs, and how to use the cards. The astrological houses. The houses in horary astrology. First house, second house. Third, fourth. Twelfth. And the twelve signs. Card meanings. Oh. 
Okay, so the number in the card corresponds to the astrological house. Am I right? I'm not sure. Yes. Oh. Yes. The number the number here represents the astrological house and this symbol here on the left lower corner is the planet the planet and this is the astrological symbol so there are 12 houses in total and so there are seven planets used used on this deck the sun moon yes this is what i'm what i was talking about i don't know which symbol is this but this is the planet symbol and it is color coded so it starts with the sun and then the moon mercury venus mars jupiter saturn okay so this is the soul jack wheel Okay. Jupiter. So this is the symbol for the planet Jupiter. It looks like number 2 and number 4 to me. Yes. Reds, Sun Year Reading, Horary Reading, Grand Trine, Cardinal Cross, and Informations about author and author and picture credits as well as bibliography So, this has been the unboxing of the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to like, share, follow, subscribe. And see you again on my next unboxing.